Hi, everybody. We're not at the nail salon today. We're in the garden <laughs> with Nick Federoff from Things Green, Hi. and we're actually going to be painting, right? We're going to be painting. Some plant we, yeah, we're going to be doing some plant markers. You know, it's really important to know what it is that you planted because most plants come, uh, especially seeds, come in the seed packets and they get wet and they start falling apart and it's like, all right, what is it? What did we make? What do we have growing over there? So uh, one of the things you can do, which is really kind of fun, is that you can either get them for free, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll give you a couple of them when you go down to, this, we'll go down to the, uh, the hardware store or paint store, or you could buy these. I bought this whole thing for 99 cents. And these are just paint stirs. They're just little paint stirs right here. And then you could put whatever you want on them. Look at this. Sandra, Aww. Nick, Spring. That's pretty synonymous. Look at that. Cake Cow 9 in the garden. Is that cool Sweet. or what? And things green. So the way that we were able to get these on here was really kind of cool. This, of course, is all natural, where you can get, make them white mm -hmm. or you could uh, do them any other color you want. And then um, what I did over here is that I, I made a, t a little uh, stencil. Tent. Uh -huh. Little stencil right here. So, um, and, and what I did is that I took and I, uh, when I made the stencil, you take this tacky glue stuff mm -hmm. and make sure you spray away from yourself and then you just spray this. You don't want to spray this direct. Okay. And then you'll put it on there, line it up just right, oh, this and then. Hold it for you. Yeah, it's really cool. So tacky here. Spray, huh? Yeah, so here. Oh, look at that. So here what we did ahead of time is we have some uh, carrots, thyme, and basil. So here's some carrots over here. We have okay. some black paint. Okay. And you don't want to spray real hard. You just want to go a little, little tacky like this. Little, okay. Otherwise tap, it's, tap, tap. Yeah, tap, tap, tap. Uh, otherwise it's going to bleed through. And then because it's tacky paper, it comes right off. You did perfect. Yeah, isn't that amazing? So, well, almost perfect. It's really tacky. <laughs> All right. So that right there is is that, and then you could stick them right into the ground, mm -hmm. and you know what you, you have. You know what's coming up. Yeah, that's really kind of cool too. <laughs> so we have that now. To uh, your left, your right, we have ourselves some old spoons, mm -hmm. and that's where where this really comes in here. If you can oh. take and you can bring the kids out, and you can mark away. So pick a spoon and see if you can't figure out how to write something. Okay. So you, well, actually, use use one of these. Think you can use one of those? That's... I never. I've actually never used this no, before. You can't get it open. Didn't you have that open just now? Yeah, let me get this one. Yeah, so go ahead and mark something on okay, there. Okay, so you know. some type of plant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here's a sage, so why don't you write sage okay. on there? Good, that's so, short. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is short. So, short. You didn't say so, cucumber. You, so you got sage, cucumber. So uh, what I would do for that is that I would write cuke. So you've got your cucumber. I mean, I've got my cucumber. You got your sage. This is fun. Look how awesome your writing is. Do you like do that on your fingers too? Mm -hmm. I can Look do yours. That. No, that's quite all right. Uh oh, my A got a little smushy. That's no worries on that one. So you have that, and of course, after you let it dry, then you can take and you can use it. And the best part is that these right here, I mean, I don't know how expensive they are in real stores. I just went to those 99 cent stores. Right, perfect. Yeah, got them. And there's glitter and there's all kinds of really neat flavors that I didn't even knew existed. So. There, now we know what's growing. Yeah. So now you can take that, and once it is, once you have it all done, you just stick it inside your plant like this, and you know what you have growing. That's awesome. I have that, so many extra nail polishes laying well, around. Right? You can use them up. Well, here's and something that's also kind of, also kind of fun to, uh, to use over here. Do you remember this? Uh, I do. We planted this, right? We, we made this. We did. It was over at the fair, and these mm -hmm. are actually the same chives that we planted back then. They're it still alive. So well. And look how cool we have a little plant marker over here that has a cork and a fork. A cork and a fork. Let's make it. That. <laughs> let's, let's make. Do it. Let's make one of those. Okay. You just can't take a fork and start smacking it into it. It doesn't work. So mm -hmm. what we need to do is mark the cork first and find the little tines mm -hmm. right there. That's right. Mark that. them so we know where they're at. And see if those, that's dark enough there. And then you can take a pair of scissors and poke mm -hmm. it, but I found out that uh, you got to really be careful. So instead, I have a little tiny uh, uh, screwdriver right okay. here, and it you need to break oh, you through. Pre-mark the holes. Yeah, huh? you pre-mark the holes, so we break through the skin like this, and then what'll end up happening is we'll be able to put that fork in with little little problems. Fair. Perfect. Just like that, you write whatever you want to put on there, you put a little bow, and the rest is history. So if anybody wants any more information, you could uh, come to my Facebook page, thingsgreen.com, or uh, the website or whatever. Just contact me. <laughs> <laughs>